Hello, welcome to my living room. I'm Ali, one of the gamba players in Dei Grazia. This is Flo, my seven string Baroque bass. Flo and I, like I suspect many of you, have been spending rather more time in the living room in the last few months, leaving the house rather less frequently than is usual. And we've been doing several things to um, help us get through this very odd time. The first thing, has been drinking copious quantities of tea from a very large mug which is always full. Ridiculous amounts of chocolate have been consumed in this flat in the last few weeks, but we have also been doing some work. We've been learning some of the Telemann fantasias for solo gamba, and um, I'll tell you more about them in a minute. And something else that I've been doing and very much enjoying is listening to a series of little devotions, little talks, by Matt Searles in Oxford on the Psalms. And he's been just a 10 minute slot each morning, taking a psalm at a time and one or two verses from that psalm each day, and just spending some time thinking about it. And it's been a really helpful way to start the day. If you're not an eight o'clock in the morning person, they are available for watching later on YouTube but it's just been nice to spend some time in the Psalms. So I thought we would combine the two, Telemann and Psalms together. The Telemann sonatas are interesting because they were only discovered about four years ago. And considering Telemann is the most prolific composer of all time, you can kind of assume that maybe we found everything by him already. How is it possible that he could have written anything else that we haven't yet found? But we've long suspected that there were sonatas for solo gamba because they're referred to in several places but they've never been found to exist and we've wondered whether he just started advertising the fact he was going to write them and then never got round to it or whether in fact they were written but lost and it turns out to have been the latter um, and they turned up about four years ago so this was really very exciting because we've got 12 new hitherto unknown fantasias um, to be learning so I have been looking at Fantasia number six in G major. A great key. G major is a fabulous key for a viol player. Um, so the first movement, it starts with a really lively, really joyful scherzando. <laughs> So I've chosen Psalm 147 to go with this, which is a psalm that's just full of praise and full of joy and very cheerful. Psalmist definitely having a good day when he wrote this one. And it refers to all sorts of things, but it refers to lots of characteristics of God that make him worthy of praise. So a lot of references to um, natural things and to creation, like making the stars. And then there's gathering drifting snow. Pebbles of hailstones being thrown down. Uh, references to water, running water. And then there's just a ridiculously joyful ending to this. Um... Just in case you'd forgotten what key we were in or the fact that this is a very, very praiseworthy movement. So Psalm 147 seemed to fit with that really nicely. And then the second movement is in minor key and Right from the very first chord, you know that something completely different is about to happen. It's got a really, I think, vocal quality to this. Um, so like a, a recitative where your harpsichordist or theorbo player spreads a really dramatic chord. You know the key, you know what sort of tone is being set, and then the singer comes in. going to be a really dramatic story. 
and it's not likely to be a cheerful one either, is it? So I have chosen Psalm 15 to accompany this, and um, it's a Psalm of David. David was not having a good day when he wrote Psalm 15. Um, he'd done some really serious things that he should not have done, and he knew it. So the opening of Psalm 15, have mercy on me. <laughs> It's quite hard work. It's really heartfelt, the music is really beautiful, so the two seem to go really well together. And that's the second movement. The final movement, and this happens in a few of the Telemann sonatas, you get two really substantial things to begin with, and then I don't know whether he was running out of space on the page and he wanted to fit it in without turning over, but the last movements are often quite short. Um, just quite flippant and slightly silly. So this is a spirituoso. Etc, etc. And it's like, I don't know, a small dog with its tail wagging frantically. Um, or perhaps a small child running around and, and clapping their hands. So I've chosen Psalm 47 to go with this. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. How awesome is the Lord Most High. It's a very short psalm. It's a very short but very joyful final movement. So make sure you've got your large cup of tea to hand. Make sure you've got some chocolate too. And let's enjoy Telemann and some psalms together. Thank you. 